Hi, I am John Ronson, the author of So You've Been Publicly Shamed, and this is what I'm reading. My first choice is a book that I've I literally just finished a couple of days ago and it's called Some Fantastic Place and it's it's a memoir uh, by Chris Difford who is one of the singers in uh, the post-punk band Squeeze. It's just a story about him growing up in London and having you know modest success. Squeeze were never like enormously famous and then you know, getting getting too drunk and falling into depression and then finding his way out again. It's not a kind of snazzy read, you know, he does, he rarely goes, he rarely reaches for kind of clever sentences, but what it is, is just it's so wrenched from his heart. Pretty much everything that's been written by George Saunders. I, I guess a good starting point would probably be his first collection of short stories first two collections, Civil War Land and Bad Decline, which may even be out of print, you know, horrifically, and uh, Pastoralia. A lot of it's set in crumbling, dystopian theme parks of the near future, where people have to pretend to be cavemen and cave women, and if they kind of break character and, and, and talk like humans, they're, uh, you know, punished. Um, they're not given a goat for dinner that night. So there's a British pop singer called Robbie Williams and this author, Chris Heath, has written these two epically long books about Robbie Williams. The first one's called Feel and the second one's called Reveal. You know, if you saw the book in a bookstore, you'd just see a picture of Robbie Williams like lounging like that. You'd think, oh God, not another, you know, annoying pop star biography. But Chris Heath is a really good writer and Robbie Williams is a really interesting subject and, and the book's about kind of, it's about so much, it's about the kind of, it's about the kind of trudging relentlessness of fame.